Hi, today we're going to be looking at the REACH wireless commissioning process. This is a digital representation of the hub screen. First, power the wired fire loop up. The hub's embedded display should illuminate as it powers on. Setup will continue on the hub's built-in display and buttons. The first time you power up the hub, you'll be presented with the first time setup process. This process ensures that critical settings are input by the user before proceeding to add products. Date and time are used to sync actions across connected devices. RF channel selection identifies the channels during the survey process. If you're installing multiple hubs in the same area, select RF channel pairs in the order that they appeared in the background channel scan on the survey kit. System ID is a unique ID number embedded into the RF communications sent over each channel. If you have more hubs in a space than RF channels and have to reuse RF channels, make sure each hub has a different system ID number to avoid communication issues. Each hub ships with a randomized ID number, so this can almost always be left at the default value. Hub loop address is the address that the hub will take on the Apollo addressable loop. Until setup is complete, it will not show up on the panel. Once first time setup is complete, the hub will present the configuration mode menu. This is where all systems and device settings can be changed, including those set during first time setup. If you're looking for the first time setup settings, they're located in the hub settings menu. As we have already set the critical settings, we can proceed to adding devices. Before proceeding, you should consider changing the default password this can be done within the hub settings menu. As this is the first time you've powered on the hub, the default password of 001 is issued. This will be needed after completing setup to change the settings again. You connect a device to the hub from the configuration menu. Navigate to the device menu using the buttons and press enter. To start the add device process, press enter on the add device option highlighted. The first action is to set the device into pairing mode. Before we can set the device into pairing mode, we must prepare the device. Open the product if necessary and remove the battery cover. Ensure that the red device switch is set to the on position before inserting the batteries. Insert the battery supplied with the product. Every REACH product takes the same CR123 battery. Most devices take two. Once the device has been prepared, Follow the on-screen instructions and set the device switch to the one position. Once the device switch is moved, the hub should find it. Once found, the RF channel and system ID code are written to the device. The hub will wait for the device to respond on the correct channel. Once this happens, the hub will read the device type, such as optical detector, and automatically assign it an address on the wired Apollo loop. This can be changed later. To repeat this process and add more devices, select Next or select Exit to stop. Some devices have settings you may wish to change, such as the optical detector sensitivity modes. You may also want to read device status flags, such as alarm status and device signal quality. The status flags are found in the Modify device menu, which is found in the device menu. Some device settings can only be changed physically on the device itself. The audio-visual products include dip switches to select sound or tone pair, volume level and VAD coverage rating. Once you've completed setup and all of your devices are connected, you're ready to release the system to the Apollo wired loop. To do this, select Exit from the configuration menu. You will receive a prompt to confirm the action. Once you confirm the action, the hub and all of the devices you connected to it will be announced to the wired fire panel. You will also be presented with the main menu. From here, everything is in read-only mode. You can re-enter configuration mode using the password. When viewing the main menu, the hub's front cover will be removed. This means that the mechanical tamper will be triggered, which will show as a fault on the wired fire panel. Thanks for watching. For more information on Reach Wireless, visit our website.